in my view, no, but some smart people think otherwise. What it really comes down to is, is consciousness just one more very interesting, very complicated biochemical, neurological, psychological process? Or is consciousness something fundamentally different? Is consciousness a fundamental ingredient in the world uh, other than the, the material contents of the world? And if it is, then maybe we need to look to our most fundamental physics to get a grasp of it. Cards on the table, I don't think it is at all. I don't think the arguments for thinking of consciousness as fundamental and special ultimately succeed. I think they're based on the fact that we find it incredibly unintuitive that consciousness could simply be something about the functional organisation of the brain. But if physics has taught us one thing, then it's that our intuitions about the world are really inaccurate guides to what's going on. So in my view, that third route to the observer via a physics of consciousness it doesn't make any more sense than having a physics of respiration or a physics of digestion. But to say the least, that's a contentious view. So what about consciousness then? Does it play an important role in physics? Uh, okay, so I don't know. Um, I'm among the minority of people who think it might. If it does, we don't understand the conceptual framework in which it mm. could. But there seems, to, so there's something that people talk about, the hard, so-called hard problem of consciousness, which is, to my understanding, that something like this, that you've described, let's say, I, um, um, I have a complete physical description of your brain. I have um, the, the full quantum mechanical wave function. I have a colossally powerful computer. I give it that. It doesn't seem like, uh, and it can predict what your brain's going to do. That's great. Um, it doesn't seem like that gives us any insight at all into what's actually going through your mind. Um, so the sensations of color, uh, emotions, smell, taste. You, you can run, We don't. And it's not just that it's a really hard calculation to do, it's that we don't have we don't have any set of rules that we could apply that starts with wave functions and ends up saying, aha, so this brain is exper has these experiences. Mm. Um, so the no building blocks are not enough. In nothing in the laws of physics talks about experiences. Or that we, have, we have nothing that looks like a rule like that. Mm. Now maybe, maybe there just isn't any such rule, and maybe consciousness is just a primitive thing that somehow is, is, is there alongside the rest of physics. Mm. But I guess physicists are naturally ambitious. And it, I mean, if there's anything that deserves the title of natural phenomenon, consciousness is it. Um, that's the only thing we're absolutely confident about. Um, and the goal of physics is, try to, is to try to produce simpler descriptions of natural phenomena. And so, it, so it seems like a reasonable project to try for physics to try to say something about consciousness. Except, I don't, to my mind, really nobody... There are some ideas out there, but nobody has a really convincing or compelling idea of even where to start, let alone, let alone evidence for a particular theory. Okay. So that's where we are. Yeah, this is why we have conferences like this one, I suppose. To Possibly, yeah. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Uh, my pleasure. Okay, thank you.